Welcome to my channel. This is Tam, and I'm playing Starfield. In the last video we saw that uh, we met some pirates. We negotiate, tried to negotiate, but those guys were not trying to listen, or those guys have their ears closed. So after that, we have to uh, we had to go for our ship. Which I was trying to go with. Okay. You know, it takes time. Atlantis. There is an industrial outpost there. Scan. Uh, not cleared for landing, okay? Land like that. 
Yep. This new Atlantis founded in 2156. This game you have to deal with this. Stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. My ships. Okay. Where can I go if I need more room of all my ship? This guy is like. I would try to view board. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. The train authority runs about the kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jamison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Sure, how about it? Okay. Ship upgrade mode allows you to make improvements to your ship without needing to worry about when loading this. Should be played some upgrades may have little the skill requirements, but the upgrades can be made and the cost to get it up at the end of the session. Okay, I have 1500 only. So you can see, uh, okay, previous category reactors, nuclear drives, shield generators. Engine size shield and heat shield value is 2250. Mass 23. Mass is also affect my ships boost capabilities. Okay, next catch up. Like this. Okay. So I think we can upgrade our things from here. Uh, ship on this side weapon to 3900 see nothing is in my range this one was but it's still need like 700 above 700 this one okay Thank you. 
Spaceship reactors provide power to all of the subsystems. Okay, we also need this one to power up my reactor. Nice. Oh, we can buy this one, right? It's 531. Okay, this is like 3D view with right click. You can go see up and down this thing. You can also zoom in. Whoa, this looks amazing. The level of detail. Posters. This one. Skills come in the other way. I've got one. Part of the system. I'm sure, sure you can, can buy something you like. 57,600. <laughs> ship. Oh, there. Oh, oh. छोटा मोटा है मेरे जैसा फिर भी मेरे जैसा बहुत लोग देख रहे हैं कि स्टैट्स पे Looks to me like you were already in pretty good shape. Sure, how about it? Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty much in मेरा क्रेडिट्स बहुत कम है भाई। चलो। Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Watch the engines. 
really not safe for civilians here. I could have said, sold it to him.
can sell with E. Oh shit, I stumped. I think I sold something useful. Oh no, 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 I'm not selling. Short answers. This one's accuracy is better than this one, but its value is lower than this one because this has a reflex side, this one has a compensated. Wow. So it's like oh I just have this suit. This one and this one with this one. What? Why is it over trading me? Huh? But this this shows you two thousand two hundred fifty. So I swing 3,900 When I go buy this one It shows 7,400 Okay, all of this
I get it now. I get it. I cannot buy this one. Missile launcher. These are the missile launchers. This smaller auto cannon will only help with this that the blue group. Except that nothing is increasing anything in my ship. See engines. This is warp engine. This helps. I think I will buy this. Shady. Shady. The next shady is like. This is. This one's pricey. I can buy this one. I have two thousand. Okay, this much is enough. Hello. Oh, I get that it's a leap of faith, but you see it all the time. That's how people beat the odds. 
Have a good one. this one. in using those types of weapons to punch holes in your target's hull. No more than the average crew person's salary. Why is that? That's true. Yeah, I hope so.
If you don't like it, find someone else to deal with. That's as low as I'll go. If you don't like it, look for someone else. Then you're not hiring me. It's simple math. Like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I have the certification to prove it. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Free Star Rangers. Eighteen thousand. You're short on credits? In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. Yeah, I've heard of you. I do like working with the best. I'm sorry, but I can't. I feel for you, but I can't work for that little. I have to make a living. Ah, I see. Well, no harm done. Save your money to take care of yourself. You're making things harder for yourself. Yes, what? Hold it right there. You're under arrest. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. Shit. I'm forced to. No soliciting. Do I need to call security? I'm really rather busy. I, if you'll excuse me. No soliciting. I am really. If you'll excuse me, I'm really rap. I am really. If you'll excuse me, I'm really. No soliciting. Do I need to call security?
I'm late to a meeting. Here, one moment, gone the next. 
I tell you, you must cherish everything and everyone while they are here. You never know when you may lose them. I hope you're right. You see, I lost something invaluable. Lost it in a bet, if you must know. It was one of my most prized items in my collection. It was a gem. Priceless, no doubt. And its beauty was blinding. Oh, life seems a little less bright without it. That scoundrel George St. George has it in his possession now. And knowing that fills me with such envy and anger. Well, yes. A part of me died when I lost it. That is something I simply cannot do. I must have it back in my possession at once. St. George, like myself, is a collector of trinkets and relics from Earth. I have in my possession a plate that I'm sure he won't be able to live without. Please, would you be my hero? and go exchange the plate for the jewel? I'm sure it will work. Oh God, no! I could never face him myself. I'd be sick just at the sight of him. St. George this would never give the gem me. back if I went myself. He would gain a smug satisfaction from declining the offer. Fantastic! Here's the plate. Come back to me when you have the gem, and please don't drop it. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Guillaume, by the way. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It does. It was the first item I ever collected. The start of it all. I received that gem when I was a young, young man. To know that I foolishly wagered it, threw it away. Ah, <sighs> well, I won't make that mistake again. I can assure you with near certainty he won't decline. As much as I hate to say it, St. George and I are cut from the same cloth. We both adore relics from Earth, no matter how large or monetarily valuable they are. They are a piece of human history, and that means a lot to us both. It pains me to part with the plate, but I happen to have a few others in my collection. If it means sacrificing one to get the gem back, I will. Yes, I've been blessed to call New Atlantis home. So when I was a younger man, man I would that. travel the settled systems with no home to call my own. I was a nomad, if you will. But out of all the places I've been, no place quite spoke to me like New Atlantis. Ah, not by profession. I work out of the Valberg building. Gambling is a vice I've indulged since I was a young man. And I've amassed a great collection of trinkets and valuables from it. Alas, recently my luck has soured and my collection is dwindling by the day. But I can't stop, right? I can't just quit. Because what if my luck returns? A lesson I still have yet to learn, unfortunately. Oh, thank you. I will try to take your advice to heart. I collect all sorts. Gems, novelties, old earth trinkets. Anything and everything that has some sort of value, monetary or otherwise. One of my favorite possessions is a fork that was used on Earth. How amazing is that? You'd be amazed what people will wager in a bet. I've won and lost some truly breathtaking things. My collection as it stands is quite valuable and substantial. It used to be more so, but my bad string of luck lately has affected it. Okay. Take care.
I am not steaming in the game. That's a mystery. Yes. What? Excuse me. Howdy. Hi there. Hello? Yes. Okay. Hello? Hey. Pardon? Bye the Yes. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here, though I have informed him repeatedly. It is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. Atlantis has been treating you well. Hey, hey. How's it going? Vous cherchez quelque chose? How are you? It is time. Nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just First time something I is at a customer. Right? Yes. <laughs> know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean? Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just, I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst, right? Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron you know, the SSN anchor is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. Okay. So almost one hour. 
I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go and gun. Catch you later. Hi, how are you? Ever been to Sidonia? My brother works there. There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Or maybe I just love trees. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. He's a Marine, and if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job, but I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just pray that he'll be okay. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. Have a good one. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? You're with Constellation? <laughs> Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full time seems like a dream come true. It seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mass. Oh, yeah, plenty of us. There's a whole branch of Mass scientific wing called DRIP that's dedicated to developing new weapons for the UC military. Okay. I'm billing myself as a weapons expert, sniper tech specifically. Most travelers like having someone on their crew who's good with firearms. The settled systems are no picnic. Well, I'll be damned. What a coincidence. Working on a ship sounds perfect. I was hoping my next job would get me out of the city. What's your offer? I really need this job. Sure. I'll cut you that deal. All right. I'll look elsewhere then. If you change your mind, you can find me here. Okay. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. This suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? This guy's stupid. Well, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front and tends to make things easier. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that caused people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. Yeah, you got that right. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I'll see you around. I go all over the settled systems. Might run into you again. I'm just waiting on something. Don't mind me. I'll see you around. I'm just waiting. I'll see. 
I go all over the settled systems. <laughs> Might run into you again. You picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making them strong today. You in uh, town for business? Do I need a shower or something? Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Damn. Guess I'll try someone else. Okay, I need to end the video here, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next <clears throat>